and on the eighth day. God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. My name's Todd Cook. This is my wife, Jennifer, and our oldest, Ashley. The next one, Emma. This is my favorite son, Ruger, and, uh, and our youngest little girl named Faith. We, uh, we farm and ranch uh, northwest of Blackfoot, about 18 miles northwest, and uh, we, we farm alfalfa and timothy, mostly, and then occasionally corn and, and wheat and barley. Uh, and then we, we run a few red Angus cows mixed with a few black ones, and uh, we're just enjoying the farm life. T.J. Cook Farms is truly something made from nothing. From sagebrush and rock to irrigated farm ground. Well, each year we break out a little more. Uh, this last year we've, we've just established a little bit of pasture, a half pivot that we're irrigating now, trying to get started. And uh, the year before we broke out uh, 20, about 25 acres. That uh, we, It was just raw sagebrush ground, just something that no one else wanted. And we broke it out, just mowed it and dissed it about 100 times and, and, uh, and turned it into farm ground. Uh, the year before that we, we broke out a, a, another pivot of ground that we put off alpha net also and and uh, it's pretty neat breaking something from you know starting something from nothing. And then there's the always growing herd of cattle that got its start when the haystack tipped over. The stacks tipped over and we broke a few bales and uh, we found a neighbor that had some old cows and he was willing to, to trade those broken bales for four cows. They weren't real choice cows, you know, people don't give away their best cows, they give away the worst and uh, so that's how it all started. We're growing, it's hard to expand uh, farming wise so we've decided to put more emphasis on the cattle and uh, we, we're, uh, we're up to 70 this year. and. Hopefully by the middle of the winter we'll have bought in a few more and maybe break that 100 mark if, with any luck. The Cooks were also the first large-scale growers of Timothy Hay in Bingham County. There was some raised around here. There was some raised in the high elevation and uh, some, uh, nothing in Bingham County that we found. We didn't know anyone around here that had it and uh, it's raised primarily in Washington State. Um, and most of it goes uh, overseas, and there's some that stays domestic for horses, and and uh, and some of the pet foods, the pets, and small pets they eat it. Wife Jennifer describes the step-by-step -step growth of the operation as an amazing dream. You know, it it has been living the dream. It's been amazing to see what. Uh, my husband's been able to accomplish when he talks about breaking out that ground he, he doesn't really do it justice how much work he put into that and how much rock he picked and the hours and hours of sweat and tears that went into that um, but it's it's been fun to watch watch us take those baby steps one at a time and be successful and be able to expand a little every year and looking into the future the cooks are working towards better balance well, at this point, the, the cattle are probably only 10 to 15 percent of our operation, and we hope to get 50-50. That's what our goal is. Todd and Jennifer Cook, 2015 Achievers of the Idaho Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee. You'll find the Becksteads on any given day under cloudless skies on their scenic, spotless farm outside of Western Idaho. So I'm Travis, this is my wife Carrie, and we have four lovely daughters, and we're the Becksteads, and this is our farm. This isn't your typical farm. The Becksteads are firm believers in diversification. What we do on our farm is, is primarily, our main crop is, is mink. Uh, we've been raising mink for three generations since 1949 as we've went on through the years it's getting tougher and tougher to make a living just do one thing so we've diversified we, we have a cow calf operation and we also do some cropland as well and Carrie is a full partner in the operation I help um, with the mating process so that we can get the mink mated and, and have the babies um, then when the babies come um, I have to go down and check each litter every you know that's born every day so that we can make sure there's no problems with litters and the mothers are taking care of them july when they're 
well, June, I guess, when they're getting big enough, we separate, uh, help separate and move the kits out from their mothers to different pens. Travis says his operation is all about quality control and establishing a brand. And so when a buyer buys for say our, our label that uh, we use is called Black Glamour. With that Black Glamour label then ensures that 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 mink has been cared for properly and everything is is up to to that code and we feel that's a very important thing uh, we strive very hard to keep a safe and healthy animal it's the same with the cattle operation this, this is the black angus organization you know they do a lot of marketing and a lot of things uh, the same with the fur industry we 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 want to be known as that farm as the guys that really try hard to keep things uh, up to snuff and, and uh, maintain a good quality product for the consumer. Ranchers must adapt to a rapidly changing market. We're headed into a down market, um, so now it's time to tighten the belt and, and uh, endure. And hopefully uh, on the next swing, not hopefully, when the next swing comes, We'll, uh, we'd like to expand a little bit more. We'd like to get to 10,000 females on our farm and, and 100 head of mother cows. It's a slow process, but we got a lifetime to do it and we love what we do, so hopefully if we just keep working hard and, and uh, we'll, we'll get there someday. Labor shortage is another problem on the horizon. We found here on our farm that money's not always the the number one motivator. Uh, so we, we've tried bonus programs and different things and then just overall the way you treat people. And so that's some of the things that we, we're facing. Travis and Carrie Beckstead, 2015 Achievers of the Idaho Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee.